Hi, today we're going to be making a barometer. We're going to be using these materials, tape, scissors, an old-fashioned milk bottle, a balloon, elastic band, and a straw. So here we cut the balloon. Um, there's actually supposed to be a step before this where you blow up the balloon and stretch it out, but we could never blow up the balloon on camera, so I'm sorry about that. The next step is taking the top of the balloon that you've cut off and stretching it over the bottle. Make sure when you do this you pull it over extremely tight so that there is no air that can be let in. And then after you stretch it over the top of the bottle, you take an elastic and you just use the elastic to seal it. Next, we take the straw and tape it to the top of the balloon covered bottle. This will act as your meter aspect of the barometer. Make sure that there is more straw coming off the bottle than there is on the bottle, and make sure that it's not too long. After you're content with the straw, take a piece of tape and place it about two centimeters away from the hole of the straw. Then you take a piece of paper and find a neutral colored wall and paste it on the wall and put your barometer in front of that paper. Lastly, mark where the straw is right now, then mark above it and mark below it. Then label the line above the middle line high and the line below the middle line low. This will act as your way to tell if your room is at high pressure or low pressure. A barometer uses the combined gas law in order to measure the pressure of a room or area. This is because both the temperature and atmospheric pressure can change in an instant in most areas. A barometer uses the air molecules inside it to move its meter, in this case the straw, up or down depending on what the atmospheric pressure is. For example, if it is a sunny day and the container is becoming hot, the molecules within the container will begin to speed up and try to equalize with the pressure that is outside of the container. This will cause an increase in volume in the gas and thus show whether the atmospheric pressure outside is high or low depending on how the straw or meter has moved. The most common barometer that is found, and the most classic kind, is a mercury barometer. This barometer uses the mercury within its glass tube and measures the atmospheric pressure by balancing the weight of the mercury with the weight of the atmospheric pressure outside. For example, if the weight of the mercury is less than the weight of the air pressure, then the mercury within the barometer will rise. Vice versa. This also is an example of how the combined gas law fits into how a barometer works, due to the fact that the temperature outside affects the air pressure, causing air molecules to heat up and increase in pressure, then causes the pressure to push down on the reservoir, thus causing the mercury to travel up the glass tube. Lastly, we must address how barometers assist us in telling if the weather will be good or bad. Due to the fact that a barometer measures air pressure, it can tell us whether the atmospheric pressure around a certain area is high or low. Atmospheric pressure has proven to be an extremely important component in respects to telling the weather. Barometers themselves are able to predict the general characteristics of the weather around 12 to 24 hours ahead of time. The speed of a barometer's change in reading causes people to be able to tell whether a storm is coming soon or how long it's going to last. If the pressure drops quickly or increases quickly, then the weather is much closer than weather from a reading which drops or increases slowly. When there is a high pressure front, meteorologists are able to use that information to predict that weather will be fair. While if there is a low pressure front, storms and natural disasters are sure to come. 
Meteorologists use barometers for this exact reason on a daily basis in order to predict whether the day will be good enough for shorts or bad enough for a parka. Thanks for watching.